Ruth Meets Boaz One day Ruth said to Naomi, Let me see if I can pick someone who will let me pick up the grain left in the fields by the harvest workers. Naomi answered, Go ahead, my daughter. So straight away Ruth went out to pick up grain in a field owned by Boaz. He was a relative of Naomi's husband Elimelech, as well as a rich and important man. When Boaz left Bethlehem and went out to his field, he said to the harvest workers, The Lord bless you. And they replied, And may the Lord bless you. Then Boaz asked the man in charge of the harvest workers, Who is that young woman? The man answered, She is the one who came back from Moab with Naomi. She asked if she could pick up grain left by the harvest workers, and she's been working all morning without a moment's rest. Boaz went over to Ruth and said, I think it would be best for you not to pick up grain in anyone else's field. Stay here with the women and follow along behind them as they gather up what the men have cut. I have warned the men not to bother you, and whenever you are thirsty, you can drink from the water jars they have filled. Ruth bowed down to the ground and said, You know I come from another country. Why are you so good to me? Boaz answered, I've heard how you've helped your mother-in-law ever since your husband died. You even left your own father and mother to come and live in a foreign land among people you don't know. I pray that the Lord God of Israel will reward you for what you have done. And now that you have come to him for protection, I pray that he will bless you. Ruth replied, Sir, it's good of you to speak kindly to me and make me feel so welcome. I'm not even one of your servants. At mealtime, Boaz said to Ruth, Come, eat with us. Have some bread and dip it in the sauce. Straight away she sat down with the workers and Boaz handed her some roasted grain. Ruth ate all she wanted and had some left over. When Ruth got up to start picking up grain, Boaz told his men, Don't stop her, even if she picks up grain from where it is stacked. Be sure to pull out some stalks of grain from the bundles and leave them on the ground for her. And don't speak harshly to her. Ruth worked in the field until evening. Then after she had pounded the grain off the stalks, she had a large basket full of grain. She took the grain to town and showed Naomi how much she had picked up. Ruth also gave her the food left over from her lunch. Naomi said, Where did you work today? Whose field was it? God bless the man who treated you so well. Then Ruth told her that she'd worked in the field of a man named Boaz. Oh, the Lord bless Boaz, Naomi replied. He has shown that he is still loyal to the living and to the dead. Boaz is a close relative, one of those who's supposed to look after us. Ruth told her, Boaz even said I could stay in the field with his workers until they had finished gathering all his grain. Naomi replied, Oh, my daughter, it's good that you can pick up grain beside the women who work in his field. Who knows what might happen to you in someone else's field? And so Ruth stayed close to the women while picking up grain in his field. Ruth worked in the fields until the barley and wheat were harvested. And all this time she lived with Naomi.